thumbs up. Drivers behind the line. In three, two, one, go. We have made it to the final match of the first round of our playoffs here, starting out our upper bracket. It's taking a look at the status of Autonomous. Two game pieces up top at six points for red, two so far for blue. Killer Bees and their alliance partner in this match, Strike Force, do unfortunately miss going back to the carpet for their additional game pieces during Autonomous. Drivers in control of robots now. We do immediately see human players starting to toss additional game pieces out onto the playing field floor. Over for the Red Alliance. Coming out of the Red Alliance substation, they are flooding those game pieces very quickly. We do see 1706 Ratchet Rockers picking up a cube. Those cubes able to travel quite a bit further as those teams throw them out. A good toss toward the Roboteers robot from the Roboteers human player. That cone, though, does get swept up by Killer B's robot while they head back to the loading zone of their own. Just over one and a half minutes remaining in the match, the red number three alliance leads it 74 to 73. Cybercabs wearing red bumpers enter their loading zone. Cone gently slid into their manipulator while the human players continue collaborating their strategy for getting those additional game pieces entered into play. Blue Alliance has so far achieved what looked like one or two, make that now three links for their side of the field. Strike Force finishing the fourth link now, adding a five point bonus to their score. Back over on red, we do still have just three links, but tons of opportunities. Roboteers, they reach on up and drop off a cone. Just one more cone missing for that link, while their alliance partner looks like they're trying to pick up an already scored cube. They rotate that cube with their wrist, place it in the middle row of the co-op grid. That changes a two-point cube on the floor to a three-point cube in the mid and does complete a link. So that's going to bump their score a little bit. Blue Alliance, though, has pulled ahead by about five points as we enter the final moments of this match. Killer Bees dropping off a cone. Blue Alliance grid awfully full. We see at least two spaces remaining on that Blue Alliance grid. Over on red, six links indicated. We see at least one spot for a cone. Roboteers are reaching up, trying to drop that cone. They do link for Roboteers and the Red Alliance. The Bees Alliance in blue alongside Strike Force and Saber. They are up, docked, engaged for the Red Alliance. Roboteers back off at the last moment. That lets Ratchet Rockers and their partners Cyber Cavs both dock and engage, but Red Alliance is trailing on the live score. So we are going to get those final results in a moment. Final scores for the last match of round one indicate a blue alliance victory by just 10 points. The value of a robot being docked and engaged in endgame. 190 for alliance six, 180 for alliance three. What this means is our winner, the number six alliance, will advance to the upper bracket. They're going to stay up top. They'll see them next round in match number eight. The red number three alliance has dropped to the lower bracket. We'll see them in round two in match number six. Again, this is the end of round number one during our playoffs here at IRI.